think we made it for two o'clock. John Bush, you hear us? Hello, Patrick. Can you hear me? Hi, John. Yep. Can you hear him? We're muted. Oh, it says your microphone's muted. You hear us now, John Bush? Yep, got you. Hello, Patrick. Hi. <laughs> Whenever you're ready, Jamie. Okay. Okay, we'll get started. We'd like to welcome Patrick Cantley into the interview room here at the Shriners Hospitals for Children Open. Patrick is our 2017 champion, a two-time runner-up. Uh, so if we can get some comments, Patrick, on a place that uh, is near and dear to your heart, obviously. <laughs> Yeah, uh, it's always nice to be back here playing, and uh, the golf course is in about as good a shape as I've seen it. Um, it looks like it's excellent, I think better than any of the last three years that I've been here. Um, so it's a golf course I really like. I think it's good and, and rewards a guy who drives uh, the ball really straight. you got to play from the fairway, but if you do, you got a lot of scoring opportunities, and, and you can make a bunch of birdies. Before we open up the questions, Patrick, let's talk a little bit about last season. I know that's a motivating factor for you. Uh, you finished 34th in the standings, but really made sort of a valiant run there at the BMW Championship. It came up a little bit short. So just talk a little bit about your goals for this season. Yeah, last year was weird, obviously, with the, the big break and everything and, and the limited schedule. Um, so I feel like actually my game's been, been better uh, lately, and I played well in Chicago. Um, and so... Uh, you know, there's a ton of events this year still left uh, and big events that are going to have great fields. So I'm excited. It feels kind of like it still feels like last year, even though it's a new year. Um, but I think uh, right after we, uh, you know, play these next three events, which are obviously really big events, we've got a couple week break before the Masters. So there's still some really big events uh, in this calendar year, and I'm, I'm looking forward to them. All right, great. We'll open it up to questions. We'll start with Steve DeMeglio from USA Today. Patrick, I don't know where you live, but have you ever have you thought about buying some property around TPC? <laughs> uh, I'm in South Florida, so I got the tax situation covered. So, uh, <laughs> Could you go into a little bit more about, I mean, one, two, two, I think there's got to be a little more than you just liking the place, or is it just the fact you like the place? Yeah, I think, uh, I think, like I said, it really rewards driving the ball in the fairway, and uh, a lot of the tee shots look good to me here, so I do play from the fairway a lot around here. And it just feels like, you know, some courses you play, you feel like you can make a bunch of birdies. You feel like there's a lot of birdie holes out there. And for me out here, it feels like almost every hole is a birdie hole. So it feels like I have lots of opportunities around this place. And uh, I feel really comfortable with the lines uh, and everything. And I have a lot of confidence here. So I've just, I've played well. And you alluded to it a little bit earlier. Um, there were some a stretch there where you weren't Patrick Cantley. Um, you weren't the Patrick Cantley that we've become accustomed to. Um, was there any specific part of the game? Was it anything that you, you're working on or going forward that you look back on that might help you go as you go forward? I think it was just, it was a weird year for me last year. It felt like uh, whenever I was gaining momentum, uh, like, uh, something happened, you know, I, I was feeling like I played okay on the West Coast. I was just about to kind of really round into form and then I decided to get that nose surgery and so I wasn't able to go play Mexico or any of the Florida, the first Florida events and then I came back ready for the Players' Championship and my game was actually feeling pretty decent um, and I played good that first round and then we went into that big shutdown, kind of took away all my momentum and then uh, on the restart it just took me a, a few events to get back into my old self. So. Um, it's just kind of a weird year. I think if it would have been a normal, a normal year without that big break, uh, that might not have been the case. Uh, but it was, and like I say, there's a bunch of tournaments this year and, um, that are still left before the new year, and I'm really looking forward to them because my game feels good. Thank you, sir. Okay, let's go to Ben Everill with PGATour.com. Hey, mate. How you going? Hi, Ben. Hey, um, are you playing again next week or do you think your luck in Vegas will extend? I've never played the golf course next week, but I am playing. I'm going to play the next two weeks. And uh, I've heard really good things. So, yeah, I mean, I'm hoping so. It, it's the same, same, or, same elevation. Um, so 
there's that little um, you know added layer of of complication here in Vegas compared to other weeks. So that'll stay the same. And I've heard the golf course is really good. So I'm looking forward to seeing it. Obviously, uh, you hear a lot about that place and don't, uh, at least for me, haven't had a lot of opportunities to play. So I'm excited to go see it. Well, that was going to be my next question. Have you had any stories out of Shadow Creek that you can no, I, I, no, no I've, I've never been there. Um, the first time I saw any pictures of it was during that Tiger Phil match and uh, it looked good and so I'm excited to see it I'm sure uh, I've heard it feels like a little oasis out there it's out in the middle of the desert but doesn't feel like you're on the desert so that'll be cool to see cheers thanks Mike yeah. okay let's go to Greg Robertson with the Las Vegas Review Journal Hang tight one second, Patrick. Sure. Okay, technical difficulties taken care of. Uh, playing without fans. Um, if you've gotten used to it, what the advantages and disadvantages are, especially after two majors, how it felt to not have fans. Yeah, I think it's definitely different um, for most of us who have, who have played in those big events with fans before. Um, and I think if you hadn't played or hadn't, hadn't seen crowds like that, it was maybe, uh, I don't want to say to your advantage, but not as much of like a shell shock. So maybe for some of those rookies, it was, it leveled the playing field a little bit. Um, but I think we've played a lot of tournaments now with, with no fans or relatively no fans. For me, um, it's not too much, too much different as far as how I feel. I'm still trying to shoot the lowest score, but at times it is, it is a bummer not, not seeing them, um, especially if you were to make a birdie or hit a great shot. And so I think, uh, you know, I've played a bunch of tournaments with fans more than without, and I enjoy having them out there and sometimes feels like they help you focus. Uh, it feels like a like a more of a stage. Um, so I'm looking forward to having them back, and hopefully uh, they come back soon. Okay, let's go back to Steve Demeglio. Patrick, um, have you ever played Augusta National in November? I haven't, but I have played in January, and so um, I think November will probably be. Um, better off than January. January, it was the grass was really long and it was very cold, um, and it changes the golf course. It makes it much more difficult. Go ahead. Is you still breaking? What are your thoughts about playing a Masters in November? Well, I think a lot of it'll be weather dependent. I don't know uh, if we'll get a different wind, or I imagine it could potentially be cold. And if it is really cold, it would change the golf course um, immensely. So uh, I'm looking forward to seeing it. I think uh, a place like that it has so much tradition and so much allure that if we see it maybe with some uh, you know, brown and yellow trees, maybe that would be cool. Um, and looking back on it, uh, it'll be interesting to say, you know, in the future, I, I played in, in that fall Masters and then also it's you know, kind of exciting to think that the Masters are only, you know, you're going to play two Masters in the next six months or whatever it is, seven months. So that's also kind of interesting too. Thanks, man. All right, well, Patrick, if it passes any indication, we may see you back in here Sunday afternoon. Yeah. Thanks for your time today. Thanks, John.